subscribe for tech talks and hit the bell icon to get notifications about coolest and latest engineering technology in the first place today we will discuss about frequency changer of an ac machine that is both induction machine and synchronous machine as you know these frequency changers are mainly used in speed controlling of a motor generally two things are involved one is the controller part and another is the converter part so watch this video till the end so that you don't miss any vital information variable frequency changer on three phase induction machine this variable frequency changer frequency changer can be uh, classified into this variable frequency changer can be used for two machines one is three phase induction machine and also can be used for synchronous machine as well so this frequency changer it is can be classified into two parts one is direct method another one is indirect method so in direct method we have cyclo converter that you have studied uh, in earlier courses and in indirect method you are it is divided into two parts one is uh, vsi or voltage source inverter and csi or current source inverter so this is vsi it can be written as uh, jl denoted at vsi in major of the most, most books and uh, current source in water as csi now vsi there are two strategies of operation one is speed of rm or pulse width modulation and another one is vvvf that is variable voltage variable frequency method now this current source inverter this can be this is also divided into two parts one is same pwm and the next is ac sci asci auto sequential commutator inverter so uh, let us consider a motor uh, the difference between vsi and csi uh, let us consider a motor that is moving with omega r speed so this is the terminal and this is the inverter we are considering two cases to understand the difference between vsi and csi so this inverter there will be dc so in this point there will be dc and let us consider another converter that will convert the normal the grid supply uh, ac to dc so this side this is ac this side and this side it is dc so let the converter be made up of uh, diode a three phase rectifier diode now the top one it will be we will be uh, seeing it as vsi so in the middle here if it is vsi a capacitor will be placed and in case of csi the dc link will be inductor okay now we will just connect it the vsi used dc link capacitor and csi is used dc link inductor this is because in vsi the voltage should be constant and in csi the current dc link current should be kept constant now the switches that is used in uh, 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 an inverter is igbt mosfet scr uh, the power electronic switches that is used so how these switches are used that we will see in vsi case we use a igbt or mosfet 
anything. In CSI, we used a thigh register. This is because when you uh, in VSI, this MOSFET, it is connected with an anti-parallel diode. Anti-parallel diode. But in CSI, this thigh register is connected with a series connected diode. This should this thing should be kept in mind that in VSI it is an anti-parallel diode and in case of CSI it is a series connected diode. So this is the difference between that uh, VSI and CSI. This volt in VSI there is capacitor, in CSI this is inductor and in VSI you have uh, in VSI you have anti-parallel diode connected with the switch and in CSI you are having a series connected diode with the switch. So this is the drive. So this is the three phase input, this is the three phase output. So this three phase input this, is the, this output is going to the MCB and then to the motor. Now, let us consider this per phase uh, diagram of an induction machine. So, let the voltage be V phase. This is RS, this is LS, this is LM, LR, and this is RR attached by S. S is the slip. So, this is E. So, we can write this E as 4.44 kW1 that is winding factor 5m frequency and T1 where kW1 is winding factor multiplication of kp and kd uh, 5m is flux per pole that is the maximum value uh, frequency f is the fixed supply frequency and T1 is turns per phase Generally, you don't have any access to this E. So, we can consider that V phase is almost equal to E because the resistive drop is very less. So, from the above equation, we can write replacing E by V phase that V phase by 4.44 kW1 FT1 is equal to 5M. Now this 5M is equal to V phase by F into all other that is remaining in the above equation. Now this uh, portion that is uh, done in red, red bracket, that is actually constant except Vf by uh, V phase by F. So we can write it as V phase by K F. So from here we can notice that phi M is equal to V phase by F. So if we increase the speed, we will see that the motor starts running. So this is ready. You see the fan load that is connected to the motor is moving. So From here what we get is that that we have to keep the phi m is constant. Phi m should be kept constant. This is a flux should be kept constant. Okay. Till base speed. So this is the base speed till that zone, the flattened zone, phi m should be constant. And after that we have to reduce the phi m to increase the speed. But that is above base speed. Okay. Now, the next thing is that from this equation, we are getting V by F control. Okay, so there are many V by F control. One is V by F, it can be applied in closed loop. So, vector control is another controlling method or speed controlling method of uh, controlling the machines, both for induction machine and synchronous machine. Another thing is direct torque control or DTC. This is also one of the method of controlling the machine.
so now if we increase the speed the speed of the fan is also increasing so this is how vyf works comment below about how you like this video check out the links in the description box about more such videos do click the like button if you like the video if you are new to this channel subscribe tiktoks and don't forget to hit the bell icon